Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of VWF Monday Nitro. Welcome back to the sold-out VWF Arena, everybody. We're so glad that you could be a part of tonight's broadcast. Of course, I am Isaac, a.k.a. Omega, here to call the action as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, we're diving headfirst right into the action. We've got a stacked card here tonight, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll be getting through that, uh, running through that, of course, with you in just a moment. But here you see the two women who have been feuding with Tequila Sunrise pretty much ever since the uh, the uh, iteration of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, you remember last week, it was Michiru that took on Dixie Clements. And this woman right here, Haru Tenno, made herself involved and, of course, cost Dixie the match. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, this match was made not long after uh, Dixie was cheated out of a, a singles victory over Michiru. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be the other two halves of the respective teams going at it here tonight. Last week, it was Michiru versus Dixie. This week, it is Haruka versus this woman right here, Reiko Hinamoto, the other half of the VWF Tag Team Champions. One half of Tequila Sunrise. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Reiko, I spoke to her before we went on the air tonight, ladies and gentlemen. She, of course, was disappointed in herself that she couldn't be at last week's episode of Nitro. She, of course, uh, had uh, previous commitments in Japan and had no idea that Dixie was going to uh, be in singles competition against Michiru until the last minute, until it was too late. So Reiko, of course, could not be here and could not be a part of it. Bell's gone. We are underway. Haruka versus Reiko. And Haruka right now. Irish whip. Reiko off the ropes again. And, oh, devastating tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. Reiko right back up. The tag team champion going to work. Irish whip of her own. Here comes Haruka. Off the ropes again. And a nice Hurricane Rana from Reiko Hinamoto. And there you can see on the outside, Haruka's partner, Michiru Kayo. Uh, and uh, I think when I say partner, it goes uh, uh, maybe uh, more than one way. They are, of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they pride themselves on being CAW's only quote unquote lesbian tag team. Take a lot of pride in that. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, in, in tag competition, Tequila Sunrise still undefeated here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, quite frankly, the Outer Senshi have been bitter. Just absolutely bitter. Even though Tequila Sunrise, as a team, has cleanly defeated Haruka and Michiru on two different occasions, Haruka and Michiru just refused to let it go. Oh my, nice kick in the corner there from Reiko Hinamoto. And she's got control of this match right back from Haruka. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, still to come tonight. A couple of big matches coming your way. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up uh, later this, this evening, Jessica Simpson, one half of the Simpson sisters, takes on X-23. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, as is VWF tradition so far, uh, who knows what other surprises we may have in store for us on this week's edition of Monday Nitro. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some more undercard action. Oh, my, as the referee gets absolutely cleared out. And then Haruka takes the ride. And a nice... Well, ladies and gentlemen, that started as an elbow drop and ended as a leg drop. Either way, it spells pain for Haruka. And a nice Northern Lights suplex. Also, ladies and gentlemen, another match uh, that I uh, neglected to mention. Also still to come, Team G4, the former tag team champions, square off against the reunited Gull Wings. So, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss a single second of the action on tonight's installment of Nitro. Referee back in. Amazing that he uh, recovered from that move so fast. And right now, Haruka and Michiru just content to walk around on the outside, taking the 10 count. Oh, my, Haruka said something to Reiko. Oh, my. And tried to drop her on the outside, but Reiko landed on her feet. Come on, ref, it's two on one out there. 
give me a break. Where's Dixie when you need her? Oh, my. And Michidu firing her back in. Come on, referee. Where's the disqualification? Haruka continuing to just pound away on Reiko Hinamoto. Haruka fires her into the corner face first. Oh, no. I've seen this move before. And just, oh, my. Just absolutely launched Reiko into the steel post. And a little bit of impressive... Uh, Exhibition of uh, strength there. Nice move from Haruka. I mean, you can't take anything away from Haruka and Michiru. A lot of people don't like them, and I don't blame them, but they are very capable athletes inside that squared circle. But, I mean, just I can't understand why these two women would be so bitter, and even though they've been beaten twice, by Tequila Sunrise, how why they continue to be a thorn in Tequila Sunrise's side. Oh my, and a suplex there from Haruka. Haruka with, with Reiko. Reiko back into that corner. Right back in trouble again. Haruka has controlled a surprising amount of this match. And now setting her up. What is this? Oh my! What an impressive leap! And a bookend from the top rope! Unbelievable! That could have left a crater in the ring. One, two, that's got to be it. Three. No, 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 Reiko kicked out. I have no idea how. How on earth did Reiko kick out of that? I can't believe it. And now she's back on the offensive. Big backdrop. Reiko's got to try and get back in this one. Drop kick right into Haruka's face. Michinu can do nothing but look on. Line salt from the second rope connects. Reiko to the top now. Big Randy Savage style elbow. Reiko with control. And dragon suplex very well executed. If she'd have bridged that, she could have gotten Haruka right there. Reiko picking her up. Back into the turnbuckle she goes. Now it's Reiko's turn to dish out some punishment from the top. Measuring Haruka. Superplex may be coming up. Here it is. Got it. Textbook superplex there from the zero fighter, Reiko Hinamo. This could be it. What? Wait. The referee just stopped counting. And... We saw this last week. This is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not usually one to complain about the officiating here from the gorilla position, but why does this referee still have a job? For the second time, someone on the outside has made him stop the count when someone was definitely pinned. Reiko, though doing the smart thing, staying on the offensive, connected with a lion salt. Measuring her from the top. Now's the moon salt. This could be it if the referee's willing to count. And Reiko pointing to the fans, saying that this could be it. Could be the angel dive coming up. And oh my. She landed face first on the canvas and now look at this. Once again, Michinu, oh no, not this. Haruka's got her by the tights. Haruka's got her by the tights. Come on, ref. And Reiko, Reiko's reversed it. But the referee is still not paying attention. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. And now, finally, Michinu's off, off the apron, but Haruka's got the tights again. Reiko reverses it again. Where's the ref? Where on earth is the referee? That's bogus. And Haruka has stolen this match. That's ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my job as, as the commentator for the VWF to try and be an objective. 
you know, to be an objective observer, to try and call it down the middle and see every viewpoint. But ladies and gentlemen, I've been around the CAW world for eight years now. For eight years, I have been around the CAW world. And that was by far the worst instance of officiating that this commentator has ever seen. Hadika steals one, and she has nothing to be proud of. And here comes Dixie. Here comes Dixie. What does she have to say? Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, next week, perhaps Tequila Sunrise will hand Haruka and meet you through their third straight defeat. We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to the back. Ray Hino standing in the ring. And here comes Usagi. And Usagi's got a mic. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's take it back to the ring and uh, see if these two can work it out. They were once friends, but now they are bitter rivals. Let's take it back to the ring.
ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. At War Games, a triple threat steel cage match from Makoto's Queen of the Mountain briefcase. And, and oh no, I had a feeling that something was up when I didn't see Lindsay with Abdallah and Tifa, and this is what she had planned. She's jumped Lufisto back in the dressing room. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, hardcore rules 24-7. Lufisto's the champion. Oh my, and just Lindsay doing what she's good at. A sneak attack. Another cowardly sneak attack. Oh my. The title's definitely up for grabs here. And ladies and gentlemen, I I, I don't know. I, I guess I guess Abdala sent Lindsay to do this, considering that Lufisto has kind of made herself involved here. I mean, it was it was three on one. Okay, Al, Al Qaeda against the VWF champion Aerith. And of course Lufisto did the right thing. And maybe the right thing here would be for Lufisto to turn Lindsay away and once again retain the hardcore title. Oh my! What a German suplex on that unforgiving floor. You ever notice, ladies and gentlemen, uh, anytime this happens, these two are alone back there? You know, no one's trying to break up the fight or, you know, I, considering that, that every uh, VWF athlete uses that dressing room, isn't it just convenient that there's never any other ones there? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But as it stands, these two continuing to go back and forth. Oh, my. Lindsay just throws Lufisto into that soda machine. And Lindsay really enjoying herself right now. Oh no, she's got a chair. This can't end well. Oh my, a suplex. Lufisto definitely in trouble here. She has to be feeling her hardcore title slip away. And Lindsay's just doing huge damage to Lufisto right now. Lufisto had no way of seeing it coming. Oh no, and now what's Lindsay going to do? Lufisto's helpless here. Oh, suplex onto the chair. Oh my. This is ridiculous. Just another act of cowardice from one of the three members of Al-Qaeda. And Lufisto's out. Lufisto's out on her feet. She had no way of knowing that Lindsay was going to jump her. And now, oh no, 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 not, not this. Not again. Just, oh, just threw that chair into the face of Lufisto. And Lindsay, in her eyes, takes out the trash. Lufisto trying to crawl back out. Lufisto just doesn't know when to stay down. She'll keep on coming. And with a crutch now, Lindsay just, oh, just cracks it over the back of... Lufisto's skull. Lindsay has no self-respect anymore. Just no, no sense. Oh my. No sense of sportsmanship at all. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always, always cheat. That seems to be Al-Qaeda's motto. Oh my, and Lindsay right now just this is her sick, perverted sense of fun. Lindsay is actually, I think, laughing at Lufisto. Oh, my. Can we not get someone back there to break this up at all? I mean, I know it's a title match, but... But give me a break. Break. 
Lindsay right now is just slowly tearing apart Lufisto, trying to end her career permanently. And Lufisto's out, and Lindsay is your champion. Great job, Lindsay. Way to go. But now, just remember, you are not the hunter anymore. You are the hunted. And oh my, as, as, as we have, I'm sure we have EMTs in the back helping Lufisto. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get to our uh, next contest on this evening's Nitro. There you see, former EWE Siren champion. She teamed with Lara Croft last week. When Lara Croft was looking for a partner against the Simpson sisters. And not only did Lara find a partner, it was X23 and Lara Croft and X23 defeated Jessica and Ashley Simpson. And here comes Jessica, surprisingly without Ashley by her side. Of course, uh, former NGW Women's Tag Team Champion, along with her sister Ashley. And ladies and gentlemen, what a match this is going to be. I mean, you got you got two uh, seasoned uh, veterans going at it here. Oh my, no love lost here. This sold out VWF Arena, 20,000 plus, letting Jessica Simpson know just what they think about her. Definitely a contrast of styles here. Jessica, the longtime NGW competitor, going up against former EWE legend X23. And these fans solidly behind X23. Bell's gone, we are underway. Connor Neville tie up here, these two jockeying for position. Jessica gets out of it, and look at this. Oh my, we've seen Jessica do that a lot lately, taunting X23. And that's only going to make X-23 more angry. Jessica Simpson's definitely going to have to be careful here because there's not much you can throw at X-23 that she has never seen before. X-23 was in a variety of different matches in EWE. No stranger to it getting down and dirty. No stranger to the hardcore atmosphere. But uh, X-23 was always one of EWE's most well-rounded women's wrestlers. I mean, she could beat you in a technical contest, I mean, she could she could stand up and strike with you. And of course, uh, was not, uh, not above using weapons to her advantage, if the situation called for it. So X-23, definitely one of the most well-rounded alumni in EWE history. But right now, it's been all Jessica Simpson, but Jessica better not take her lightly. X-23, of course, what, what was one thing that she may have been the best at in EWE? Taking a huge amount of punishment. You have to remember, X-23 has that healing factor. And ladies and gentlemen, who can forget? Oh my, as you see her curb stomp, Jessica now, giving her a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be in there with a former EWE competitor. And look at that, oh my, a savage choke slam. That could be it. One. Two, no. And just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the worst mistake Jessica could make in that ring would be to take X-23 lightly, and that's what she has been doing. X-23 is not your average competitor. Oh, my. Did you hear Jessica get slung into that turnbuckle? Carnaval tie-up now. X-23 on the offensive. No, nice counter from Jessica. Elbow over the back of the head. Now, oh, my, X-23 into the buckle. Jessica, nice bulldog off the ropes. And measured her for a drop kick. And here's the cover. Oh my, and Jessica once again tries to hook the ropes, but X-23 gets out of it. X-23, look at this power. And just a huge gut buster there. Jessica fell about six feet in the air. The former EWE Siren Champion looking good right now against the former NGW Women's Tag Team Champion. 
And you can bet that Ashley Simpson and Laura Croft both are looking on at this match. Oh, my. It just sends Jessica flying. And now X-23 measures her and nails the Asai Moonsault. High risk maneuver there, and it paid off. X-23 now starting to feel it. You can almost hear her talking to Jessica, narrating this beatdown. And now X-23 fires her back inside. Nice bulldog. And now, listen to her, listen to these fans. What an athletic move that was. X-23 looking to put the finishing touches on this one. And the Peacekeeper. X-23 just turned the lights out. The cover, the count, and the, no. No, Jessica somehow kicked out. Just, that had to be purely on instinct. I thought X-23 absolutely turned her lights out. But X-23 not to be deterred. And now with Jessica. Oh my, nails the Death Valley driver. Jessica Simpson in a world of hurt. Oh my, thumb to the eye. That was the only way she was gonna get back into this one. And another bulldog. Jessica. This is self-preservation right here. A third bulldog. And another clothesline. Jessica off the ropes, nails the lion salt. I gotta say though, whenever she's uh, taking on X-23 head on and not playing mind games with her, Jessica's done a pretty good job of hanging in there with the former EWE Siren champion. And now Jessica gonna take a risk here. She leaps and misses with the crossbody. X-23 sidestepped her at the last possible second. Oh my, and a big right hand there from Jessica and another Bulldog. Now measuring her for another drop kick right to X-23's face. Big elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, still to come tonight, Team G4 squares off against the Goal Wings. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, Tiffa Lockhart versus Minako Aino for the number one contendership to the VWF title. Tornado DDT from Jessica Simpson. Lateral press, hooks the leg. One, two, no. And that was pretty close. And Jessica Simpson for the last couple of minutes, for the last three or four minutes has had solid control. Really starting to press the advantage here against X-23. And now, oh my, I say that, but then now here, here goes Jessica again, back to her taunting and arrogant ways. All that's gonna do is infuriate X-23, and look at this. We saw this all right, no! Oh my! Simpson effect, but it had no effect! The Simpson effect has no effect on X-23! She's all set up! Misses with that punch! And... Uh, nailed the peacekeeper from the other side of the ring with her back turn. Now that's talent. Two, and it's over. Uh, what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? That, that is the talent of X-23. She's able to knock you out from the other side of the ring with her back turn. Just the sheer thought of being hit with another peacekeeper was enough to put Jessica Simpson away in one of the most unique finishes I think I've ever seen. But a win is a win for the former EWE Siren champion, X-23 successful over Jessica Simpson. And look at this again. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't have seen it with my own eyes. But X-23 takes it after that devastating peacekeeper. Uh, of course, uh, you know X-23 will take the win no matter what. A win is a win for the former EWE Siren Champion. Successful here tonight 
in singles competition. And you have to wonder what's going through the head of Ashley Simpson right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the ring to the CEO, Frederick James Francis. Not this again. Al-Qaeda coming out now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a truly uh, shocking development here. Uh, Frederick has seemingly uh, laid down the gauntlet here, uh, not giving Al-Qaeda any kind of a, a title match at War Games, but um, giving, uh, giving one of the uh, apprentices to uh, Abdallah bin Laden an opportunity tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, Abdallah gets to pick which one of her disciples, Tempa or Lindsay, gets to take on uh, an NGW, excuse me, <laughs> wrong league, uh, which VWF Vixen uh, to take on for the number one contendership. It, it could really be anybody. Do you go with uh, Tifa, the fresh uh, competitor, or do you go with Lindsay, who has already become the hardcore champion here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as far as uh, Frederick's uh, choice goes, the possibilities are endless. It could be anybody here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Team G4 already in the ring. There you see Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn. And here comes their opponent, reunited for the first time since the end of NGW. I am talking, of course, about Yuna and Riku, and together, they are the Goal Wings. Listen to this crowd. 20,000 plus, happy to see the two best friends reunited again. And ladies and gentlemen, it sure feels good to see the Gold Wings back together as a team, back in tag action where they belong. Yuna and Riku ready for action. Here tonight on Nitro. And here we go.
And these two now jogging for position. Riku starting with Olivia Munn. Oh, my, huge knee lift there from Olivia Munn. Olivia now, Irish whip. Nice hurricane run, a takedown from Olivia Munn. Riku now, back up. Nice DDT. And Riku now going to work on Olivia Munn. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, our main event, a member of Al-Qaeda taking on a uh, VWF competitor of uh, Frederick's choosing for the number one contendership. And ladies and gentlemen, you definitely don't want to miss that. Stay tuned. And ladies and gentlemen, what an event War Games is shaping up to be. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you've got the uh, War Games match that Frederick just mentioned, featuring Al-Qaeda against Aerith. And, oh my, as you get ready to see, another one of those brilliantly executed double team moves on the part of Team G4. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, you will see Team VWF, which is Aerith Gainsborough and Lufisto and a partner of their choosing against Al-Qaeda. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, another match made for tonight. Triple threat steel cage match for the Queen of the Mountain contract, pitting Makoto Kaino against Ray Hino against Usagi Sakaino. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, War Games already shaping up to be a great quick preview event for the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And Riku, after spending the last couple of minutes in trouble here, back on the offensive and tags in Yuna. Yuna now with Morgan Webb. Morgan's in a lot of trouble right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to imagine this match will have big implications in the VWF tag team title scene. Of course, you've got the former champions, Team G4, who were the first ever tag team champions, as you see a great arm drag there from Yuna. Shades of Ricky Steamboat. And of course, you've got the uh, Goal Wings, who were a long time mainstay as a team in New Gen Wrestling. So ladies and gentlemen, you have to imagine whoever wins this contest will take a big leap in the tag title rankings. Here's a cover, one and only a one. Morgan Webb now firing Yuna into the turnbuckle. Drop kick misses. Here comes Yuna. Yuna fires her into the buckle. Morgan Webb fighting her way out. Oh my. Yuna fired him once again with authority into the turnbuckle. And nice tornado DDT from Morgan Webb. Another hook of the leg. This could be at one. And once again, only at one. Riku looking on with some concern for her partner, Yuna. Oh, my. And a nice inverted DDT there again from Morgan. And another cover. One. And only a one once again. Yuna showing that she can be tough. Morgan Webb now with Yuna. And... Oh my, nice counter out of the power bomb. Yuna follows it up with a DDT of her own and drives the elbow home. Yuna's got to do something to get back into this match. She's been dominated by Morgan Webb. And oh my, big leverage move there. Connor elbow tie up. Morgan Webb fired over back into goal wing territory. And, oh my, just Morgan Webb just getting punished in that corner by Yuna. And Yuna making the tag to Riku. And ladies and gentlemen, it really looks like the Gold Wings have not missed a beat since the last time they competed together as a team in MGW. The cover, one, two, no. This one's still a long way from over. Yuna, though, still with control on Morgan Webb. Fires her into the turnbuckle. And Riku now perching Morgan Webb on the top rope. 
Morgan Webb's about to be in a world of hurt because here comes a superplex. And it connects with authority. Here's the cover. This could be it. One. And Olivia Munn manages to break up the count. Oh, my. That distracted Riku long enough for Morgan Webb to land a flying tackle. Morgan Webb's been in there for about seven or eight minutes now. And makes the much-needed tag. Double-team maneuver coming up. Drop toe hold into an elbow. Got it. Team G4 now with some momentum and an unorthodox submission move here on the part of Olivia Munn. Riku came in there a house of fire, but it looks like now, oh my, Team G4 has once again gotten complete control of this match right back. And now you see a sleeper, a sleeper applied, but Riku manages to sneak out the back door. And now, once again, the mark of a good tag team, frequent tags, keeping the fresh woman in. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a big reason why Team G4 were the first BWF Tag Team Champions. They know how to get it done. Nice takedown there from Morgan Webb into an ankle lock. Oh my, and then just driving Riku's neck and, uh, excuse me, Riku's knee into the canvas and then a nice elbow. And a second one. And once again, frequent tags, cutting that ring in half. That's the mark of a great tag team. And Olivia Munn now, oh my, just snapping Riku's neck over that top rope. Oh my, and once again, going for that knee of Riku. Lateral press, hook of the legs, two, and now it's Yuna making the save. You have to imagine if Yuna doesn't come in and make the save there, this one would have been over. Riku now back into the buckle, and once again right back in trouble. Olivia Munn with a lot of control. Oh my, but right there she stepped outside of the ring for a second. And Riku is seizing the advantage. Nice elbow off of the ropes. Riku trying to get back in it. She's a former NGW Women's Champion. Nice crossbody. Riku on the comeback trail. Oh my, but now being restrained by Morgan Webb. Oh, and a thumb to the eye from Olivia Munn. And now it's starting to get a little bit chippy in there. Nice leg drop from Olivia Munn. Into another nice head scissors takedown. Well, Riku uh, was looking like she was going to get back into it, but once again, Team G4 has gotten the advantage right back. And Olivia right now, maybe looking to put the finishing touches on Riku, but a nice spinning heel kick from Riku. And there's the tag. There's the tag. Yuna clears out Olivia Munn. Sends Morgan. No. No. She missed. And Morgan Webb made her pay. The cover. One. Two. Oh, my. Two and three quarters at least. That was a close one. And Yuna now is in trouble. Yuna came in a house of fire, but her momentum was quickly put to an end thanks to Morgan Webb. Now Olivia Munn on the top rope leaps and scores with a moonsault. She's, she goes up a second time. Scores with another moonsault. Going up a third time. Nails another moonsault. And that could have just won the match. Why is Olivia Munn not making the cover? That could have been it. Another double team maneuver though coming up on the part of Team G4. Yuna fired off the ropes. Oh my, a nice tag team move there on the part of Team G4. This could be it. One, two. Oh my, and Yuna just barely kicks out. Riku would not have made it in time to make the save. Yuna trying to get back into this match. Clears out Olivia Munn. 
but it's Morgan Webb that's the legal woman. And Unit right back in trouble. Boot to the midsection. Here comes Morgan. Another nice drive kick. Measuring her for a second one. Drives the elbow. Team G4 just not letting up at all on the goal wings. And it looks like maybe Team G4 has spoiled the return party for the goal wings. But, but Yuna's right back up. Yuna got up from that nice suplex. And now she's got a headlock. No, Morgan Webb with the go behind. Shot to the back of the head. And now another boot to the midsection. Oh, my. And that was the X factor. And that could have just ended the match. No, Morgan Webb's not done. Wait a minute. Victory roll two. She got her. Unbelievable. And ladies and gentlemen, after spending about nine-tenths of this match getting dominated by Team G4, Yuna gets up from the X play from Morgan Webb, her signature move, and then hits a victory roll and takes this one for the goal wings. Amazing. What a way to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. There you see. Morgan Webb nails the X play. That should have been it. But no, Yuna somehow gets Morgan Webb into a victory roll. And the goal wings are victorious in their return as a tag team. And ladies and gentlemen, what a match that was. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not done yet because it's main event time. And there you see Al-Qaeda conferring with one another. Lindsay, the new hardcore champion. Tiffa Lockhart and Abdallah Bin Laden. And Tiffa. What did she just say to Lindsay? Wow, very interesting there. Yes, here comes Tiffa Lockhart. One third of Al Qaeda. And ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time on this edition of Nitro. What a show it's been, ladies and gentlemen, and I have a feeling this one is absolutely going to cap it off on a high note. It is, of course, for the number one contendership to Aerith Gainsborough's BWF Championship. And there you see Tiffa Lockhart, former NGW Women's Champion. She turned her back on her longtime best friend, Ami Mizuno. And now she looks to secure number one contendership and perhaps take another step toward bringing the BWF Championship to Al Qaeda. And yes, here she comes, ladies and gentlemen. It is Minako Aino, AKA Sailor Venus. And Minako Aino looks fired up for this one. And ladies and gentlemen, what an opportunity this could be for Minako Aino. And ladies and gentlemen, what a match this is going to be. You've got two former NGW Women's Champions going at it here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to thank Aerith Gainsborough, wherever she's at, looking on. And because, ladies and gentlemen, either way you cut it, Monaco Aino or Tiffa would be a fantastic number one contender. And what a great match that would be. Either way, no matter who wins this. And ladies and gentlemen, as you hear the bell, and we are underway, ladies and gentlemen, this is for number one contendership. And next week, the winner of this match will get their title shot against Aerith. So it's all on the line here. And now these two 
trying to get a feel for one another. And Minakawina with a little bit of control now, coming back with a couple of kicks. Oh, my, but just over the ropes, 360, fired out by Tiffa Lockhart. And Tiffa right now jawing a little bit with these fans. And Tiffa getting a little bit cocky, trying to frustrate Minakawino here. Minakawino, of course, the master of the V-kick. Tiffa, though, the master of the final heaven, the move that's won her so many titles in this illustrious sport. Minako now with a couple of strikes and a nice drop salt sends Tiffa over the ropes 360 this time. And Minako Wino nails a cross body. High risk maneuver paid off. Minako Wino very well aware that she's the underdog in this one. Tiffa is riding a huge wave of momentum here. And now these two brawling on the outside. This never ends well. Referee, meanwhile, with a 20 count to work with. Tiffa fired back into the ring. Here comes Minakawino giving chase. Go behind. Nice headlock counter from Tiffa. Tiffa nails a kick, and now Minako goes over the ropes again. Tiffa giving chase. Oh, my. And just shoves Minakawino into the steel steps. Those unforgiving 50-pound steel steps and a backdrop now on that concrete. Ladies and gentlemen, you only have about one inch of padding to cover you from that cement floor. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not much. Not much at all. Ladies and gentlemen, so far most of this match has been fought on the outside. Oh, my. And a sickening DDT on the outside. And Tiffa's looking to win it here without ever having to take it into the ring. Tiffa gets on the ropes, measures Minako, and nails a flying clothesline. Well executed move from the Al Qaeda member. One, two, and no, a kick out from Minako Wino. Lutez press now from Tiffa. Tiffa's controlled most of this match. This is a battle, ladies and gentlemen. I must remind you, this is a battle of former NGW Women's Champions. Neither has yet to taste gold here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation, but ladies and gentlemen, you have to imagine they won't be far off. Neither one of these two will go very long without having a, some gold here in the VWF. Oh my, and Minako just fired into that steel post. And a gut wrencher there from Tiffa Lockhart. Tiffa showing you why she is a multiple time NGW Women's Champion. And oh my, just, just a couple of lefts and rights there. And now Tiffa delivers a huge choke slam. And that should do it. That should do it. And Tiffa now. Maybe setting her up for the final heaven. Minako in a lot of trouble. Trying to get back into this one. Buries a knee. And a nice flying forearm. Minako Aina was really in danger of losing this one. She's got to get back into it. She's got to slow Tiffa down. Oh, my. Missile drop kick. Misses the mark. This one has been all Tiffa. And now just slamming her face first into the canvas. And now Tiffa going upstairs. Leaps and scores with a headbutt. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, Tiffa Lockhart could end this at any time she chooses. And oh, now look at this. Look at this. Oh, the meteor kick. And Minako Aino goes down. No! She's right back up! Minako Aino's not going to get beaten by her own move, but this could do it. Final heaven. And it's over. It's over if Tiffa will just, will just make the cover. But she doesn't. And now Minako 
Miss with the clothesline. Nails the V-kick. This could come back and haunt Tifa forever. One, two, no. And Tifa almost regretted not going for the cover after that final heaven because Minako Aino was within one split second of making her pay. Minako. Nice Hurricane Rana. These fans trying to motivate Minako Aino to get back into this one. Huge crossbody. Come on, Minako. You can do it. And now listen to 20,000 plus solidly behind Minako Aino. And ladies and gentlemen, this has really been her first extended offensive series in this match. Nails the martial arts kick. And now continuing to feed off of the energy of this sold out crowd here at the VWF Arena. And a nice counter there from Minako. Karnaba tie up, knee to the midsection from Tifa. Tifa nails the Luthes press, oh my, fist and fire. Buried about 10 of those right hands right into Monaco's face. Tifa on the top rope now, taking a chance and missed with the clothesline that time. Went to the well one too many times. Here comes Monaco Aino, off the ropes. Nails the Lion Salt off the second rope. Lion Salt again off the second rope connects. Minako Aino may be on the verge of taking this one away from Al-Qaeda. And ladies and gentlemen, this sold out VWF Arena would explode if, if Minako found a way to take away number one contendership from Al-Qaeda. Minako on the top. Tifa doesn't really even know where she's at, but she sidestepped that martial arts kick. But Minako, not to be deterred, nails the Bulldog. Huge drop kick. Minako Aino really feeling it right now. She leads again, but this time misses again with that martial arts kick. And Tifa now starting to get back into this one. She was in a lot of trouble there for a few minutes. Gut Buster connects. Ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, this is for the number one contendership. Whoever wins this bout goes on to next week's edition of Nitro and competes for the title. One, two. Oh, my, Minako Aino almost took it with a victory roll. Irish whip. Tiff off the ropes. Nice arm drag takedown. Minako with Tifa. Over the ropes she goes in a compromised position. And just cracks her neck over the ropes. And ladies and gentlemen, right now the anticipation, knowing that we are nearing the end of this match, that we are in for an exciting finish. The tension in this arena, you can cut it with a knife. And Minako. Dragging a helpless Tifa to the center of the ring. It's still anybody's match. Nice short arm clothesline. And Minako Aino with control. Another nice bulldog. And this could be it. Minako signaling for the V kick. Will she connect? Tifa doesn't even look like she knows what planet she's on. Wait a minute. No, Minako. Going with, oh my! That, that decapitating kick, but it had no effect on Tifa. Tifa! Final heaven out of nowhere! Final heaven out of absolutely nowhere! The cover! One, two, and it's over. And Tifa has done it! But boy, ladies and gentlemen, she had to work for it. Minako Aino 
was completely on her game. Minako Aino came into the VW Farina, ready to become the new number one contender. And ladies and gentlemen, she was a split second away. What a match. But Tiffa Lockhart found a way to circle the wagons, get up from that nearly decapitating X kick, came back and nailed the final heaven, and she is your new number one contender. And next week, she will take on Aerith Gainsborough for Aerith's VWF title. Let's take you back to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the lights have gone out. Oh my! And it's Ami! It's Ami Mizuno! Tifa running for her life! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen! I can't believe it! She's back! Oh my, oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, a dream team has been formed at War Games. It's Al-Qaeda versus Aerith, Lufisto, and Ami Mizuno. She's back. What? Peacekeeper from the other side of the ring with her back turned. Now that's talent.